Weighing in at 555 pounds. Every single person that starts a diet after one week and then thinks that they're fat. Guys, girls. Probably should have started that off with girls. Not saying something, but kind of am at the same time. Your weights don't really mean that much. Unless you're tracking your weight every single day at the same exact time after going to the bathroom. Probably best in the morning, right upon waking before you put anything in your stomach. And then take those weights, add them all up every single week, and divide them by seven. Then you get your weekly weigh-in average. That's the best way to track your weight and to track your fat loss and mass gaining progress. So there you go. Don't freak out and think that you're getting fat. But maybe you are. I don't know. Add them all up, divide them by seven, and see where you're at. Track your freaking weights. Boom, boom. All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving. The thing about Thanksgiving is people like to be a little naive. They like to say you can't ruin your diet in one day. Truth is, you can't. One pound of body fat is 3,500 calories over your caloric maintenance. So I'm not trying to be the Debbie Downer, but how do you work around that? So if you plan to eat 2,000 calories over your caloric maintenance on Thanksgiving, which is really easy to do, hold yourself accountable. So the day before Thanksgiving on that Wednesday and the day after Thanksgiving on that Friday, try to go about 1,000 calories lower than your maintenance on both of those days to even it out. That's how you do it. That's how you stay fit, but also enjoy the holiday with your friends and family and eat the good food. So implement that into your routine. Stay fit, stay strong, hold yourself accountable. You know what to do. What's the number one tip that I can give to anybody for getting in shape? No, in all seriousness though, diet sustainability is super important and not talked about enough when it comes to getting in shape. Is this diet, is this plan something that you can stick to every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year for the rest of your life? No carbs, no fat, no sugar, whatever it may be, is this diet sustainable? Probably not. I meet a ton of people who say, I lost all this weight and then I put it all back on and more and I just don't know what to do. And it's just, it's sad because a lot of people, they're trying to take extreme diets and put it into their lifestyle forever. Yes, there's a time and a place for extreme diets, but the main solution to your problem is diet sustainability. Have a baseline, have a goal, have a caloric amount that you're trying to achieve and eat foods that you like to get there while hitting your macros and getting in good micronutrients. There's your plan, stick to it, diet sustainability. If you don't have your meals packed on the road, you freaking screwed up. But here are some places you can visit to try to fix that situation. Go to Panda Express. They have lots of grilled chicken and rice options. Go to Wendy's. They have grilled chicken and a baked potato. Go to Chick-fil-A. They have grilled chicken. Duh. Go to Subway. They have grilled chicken and veggie options. Go to Kidoba or Chipotle. They have lots of protein and carb options. If you don't have your meals, you freaking screwed up. But those are some places you can visit. Also, visit my trifecta discount code for 40% off. AJZ40. Have those meals shipped and delivered to you. If you didn't have time to cook, didn't have time, they can send it right to you. Every single day, I wake up, I look in the mirror, and then I grab my jug, I put it to my lips, and I hydrate. Stay hydrated, kids. But what does that mean? It means starting your day off right by getting your bowels moving, enhancing your performance, and drinking as soon as you wake up. It's a great way to get ahead of the curve. Just make sure that when you do it, you don't... <laughs> You don't spill it all over yourself like I just did. But consider morning time, time to drink your water. Take your diet breaks, or at least try to emphasize being in a caloric surplus. Progress is made when you're eating food and building up your caloric maintenance. Right, So if you're eating a lot of food and you're training a lot and you're slowly increasing your calories, guess what's going to happen? Your metabolism is going to go up. So then when you diet down, that caloric maintenance is easier to reduce from. Right? It's easier to diet on a 3,000 calorie maintenance versus a 2,000 calorie maintenance. 
versus being the guy who's always dieting down and his metabolism's down here, and now he's just constantly trying to lower and lower and lower and lower, well, that gets you nowhere, and you also lose a lot of size. Progress is made in a caloric surplus, build up that metabolism, keep on growing, build muscle, and that's how you're gonna get lean in the long run.